Well, hey there, everyone. Patet Boy here, and welcome back for our, the first and only time to our unlock of Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. Man, I'll tell you what, I have been waiting a long time, I think it's been four months, to be able to get this guy unlocked, and I am stoked to have his event back. Um, and I, uh, I'll throw a little, little plug out here, I apologize for the last video. That audio quality was uh, atrocious, to say the least, and I uh, want to apologize for how bad it mixed and how bad it sounded. And uh, we've gone and upgraded the mic and a few other things here, got some condensing, got some noise suppression. So hopefully this is going to be a much cleaner audio experience for everyone. So thanks for bearing with me. I apologize. Without further ado, let's hop in here. And as you can see, I've not done any of this event. Um, and I'll click through these tiers real quick, and obviously I'll talk about what I've got. But you'll see I've got some at their bare minimum, right? And some I've got a little bit relic, and some I've got a lot. And I'm going to take Seer to Relic 7 as well in order to do territory battles. Um, but I'll preface up front here. When we are not... Mm, nah, I'll spoil it now. When we unlock Cal, we're going to be taking him to R8 immediately. He'll be the first and probably one of my only unlocks that I take directly to R8. I consider it R9, but it's a little expensive. And considering I'm pushing Leia as well as Cal right now, uh, I need my Relic Mads. But R8, just for his usefulness in territory battles, I'm just, I'm so looking forward to using him. So, let's start here first on Tier 1. I watched the unlock maybe once. I have no memory of what I have to do, how difficult this is going to be if I have to remod. So I'll show you what I've got on everyone. Um, and I've not moved any mods. These are the mods I just rock for everyone. And Cal is not fast, right? Speed is not a focus for him. But I've got him healthy, right, with all the health mods. And then the potency for his unique. And I've got, I think, zero Zetas, right? Am I crazy? No, I do have one. What's the one? Um, Let me remind myself. It's not this one. Oh, it's his unique. Okay. So I do not have the Omicron on him. But we have the Persistence uh, Zeta. Um, right if the opponent goes first, which is generally going to be the case because Cal is slow. So just full clarity, oversight of what I've got here. And let's just hop in. All right, that's... Oh, we kicked Leia out of my journey. That's rude. All right. Let's go get it. Okay. So, um... Okay, let me remind myself. Remove all stacks of purge and take it... Oh, okay, fair. Cool. No. And this is probably going to be very easy considering this cow is relic. Uh, if you don't have a relic cow, don't worry about it. I, I imagine G12 will be fine here considering... Okay, that didn't hurt at all. Oh, kind of hurt. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. And right, let's remind ourselves what this does. Right, Dispel a Divas, recover 45% health. If we're full health, we're going to recover protection instead. Go ahead and do that. And we got critical hit immunity coming in. No, apparently not. Oh, sorry. They're full health, full protection, and critical hit immunity. My bad. If you couldn't tell, I generally put this guy on defense, so I don't have to use his kit a ton. Boom. Yep. Bye. All right. Okay, just get one. All right, there's the damage. Let's go ahead and heal up a little. I imagine we're going to want to be close-ish to full health coming into this. Just to make sure we've got enough thickness to survive whatever's thrown at us. Let's go ahead and keep healing. Okay, boom. Okay, and let me remind myself, when I stun... Okay, all of the three percent turn meter each resisted. Okay, maybe the stun's on the Zeta. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, all right, we're done. That's neat. Hey, Trilla, let's go have a fight. Ow. All right. Let's get that going first. Oh, okay. That might actually hurt, which is weird because Cal does not hurt. <laughs> it's okay. Well, all right. Relic Cal might be a little bit cheating here then. I'd like to think that your G12 Cal could also survive that. But when in doubt, especially for territory battles, for Ray, for the Malakos and Seer Junda team, right? I, there's so many reasons to take this guy and Seer at minimum. Those two, up to Relic. If if you want to do it right, G12, you're, you're going to develop those teams later. By all means, I think that'd be a simple tier with a G12. But Relic just makes that uh, nominal. That was not an issue at all. 
Okay, so real quick for Saw. Here, let me go back. Tier 2. I'm trying to call these out. Starting Tier 2 here. Cal, we've not moved the mods. Tarful, we've got real, real basic mods, right? Uh, he's nothing fast. He's nothing that healthy, right? We've got all the Omegas on, but we have no Zetas on him whatsoever, right? When we go back, you'll see no Zetas. And for Saw Guerrera, I put the minimal effort into this dude as humanly possible. He has trash mods, just health, so he's kind of thick. He has very average speed. And of course, no Zetas, only the Omegas. I don't know if I'm going to need to go hyper mod him or Tarful for this. I'm skeptical, but let's find out just to be safe here and dive in with what we've got. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, let me... Axiom Brood. Uh-huh. What's the deal here? You have 25% crit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, there doesn't seem to be, like, a claws. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, I got him out of stun. Whatever. Like Dark Trooper, it looks like. Every time it loses a stack, it comes back. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. Let's cleanse. What is this? Quick parry. Take 74% less damage when an enemy targets this character. Get counterattacks and stuns. We're going to use that on Saw because he's the weak link for sure. Unless we can't use it on Saw. If we can't, that's comedic. No, we can't. He's garbage. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's do this. Go stun him. That. I am playing like garbage here for the record. Don't do what I'm doing. I recommend taking these little dudes out first. But don't stun and then hit him with the ability again. You're an idiot. Yeah. You. Just focus him down. Okay, let's cleanse. Get the defense down off of him. We got provoked. I'm blinded. Uh -huh. Here we go. So we're looking okay. Let's see if we can... <clears throat> See if we can heal Saw up here. Get him a little healthier. Okay. Boom. All right. So I played that one stupidly. Uh, take out the side dudes first is my recommendation. And then um, use all your stuns on the middle dude because he definitely does the most damage. I My guess here, I don't know, but this is my guess. Heard troopers are probably a problem. Okay, let's do that first. All right. Buff Dispel on the basic, which is just so great about Tarful. Let's get some debuffs on him. Perfect. Go ahead and hit him. Buff Dispel. Okay. Uh, heal up Saw, and then we're going to go focus on Tarful. Let's go hit him all. Okay. Dead. You die. Oh, you're so close. Okay, dead. All right, let's go focus on Stormtrooper. I don't like that he's up and moving. All right, let's get rid of Scout Trooper. All right, that's boring. Boom. Okay, let's heal up Tarful now. That was... Dang, that was a waste because he was not quite full health. But that's on me. That's a misplay. So now you're seeing really what not to do. So... Yeah. <laughs> Don't heal when he's not quite full health. Okay, we've pared down to just Cal, so again, Relic Cal is going to really help out here. Okay, counter. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's so annoying. I love that so much. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, we're done. That was too easy. Okay, you will be just fine with a G12 Tarful and Saw. You don't even, I'm gonna say this, it might be controversial, don't even worry about healing them. I don't know if you lose, if you lose them, but since this isn't a ticketed event, I don't really care, right? You can play around with that if you want. If you have all G12s, see if you lose Tarful or Saw if you lose. But I would just focus on keeping Cal healthy for that last encounter with Ninth Sister. 
if you are G12, if not, your your relic cal will take him out as you saw in what, like three hits? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, so again, naturally, we need cal here. Sorry, let me go back. It's tier three, and again, we haven't changed any of the mods, so uh, same deal. Still R5. The no leadership ability is a little annoying, but that's all right. Okay, and that's nice. Let's let's do this first. Let's get the counter. Yep. Oh, that kind of sucks. That's all right. This is this is very annoying. <laughs> the days really sucks, dude. Okay, there you go. Just keep going. We'll get the weak one out first. Go. There you go. All right. All right. Don't daze me. Thank you. All right. Now shoot me. See, that's what I was hoping to have happen. That sucked to get dazed to start, man. I'm going to work on you because you're definitely the thickest. All right. Gosh. That's just stupid. All right. How's the way? you as you can see cal is doing just fine health wise it is not an issue whatsoever all right dead do you die no you will all right cal's still full health he's looking great okay um i believe the mechanic on this one is you can't defeat it unless it stuns if it's anything like the special mission Let's see, uh-huh. Yeah, it can't be defeated unless it's stunned. So we're gonna accomplish that with this, and I'm gonna hold for a second so we're gonna get tenacity down. That's fine. We're gonna do some damage to him first. Okay, more damage. All right, we're gonna let him take the turn. Okay, now we're gonna go do that. And now he's gonna get stunned, and he'll die. Boop. Just like that. That was easy. Don't even stress that. Very straightforward. Just use that right when you're about ready to take him down and get him weak. Okay, so let me get all that off first. And now you're gonna go slow. And now I'm gonna parry you the next time you hit me. Ha ha. Oh, you can't be stunned, boo. Alright, fair. Boom. Should just be one more basic. And we're done. I lied. Callus me. Now we're done. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Trilla. Go ahead and take off the mask. Yeah, there we go. Ah, right. that was dramatic. We let that play out in silence. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's fun though. Very fun. Okay, so this will be tier four, and so right, still got the same cal, right? Relic five, but Marin here. We have got only one of her Zetas on, and she's Relic 3. So let's talk about mods and speed. Just so you, if you're not aware, I'm sure if you have Marin, you're aware. But if you're not, let's just make sure you know. Speed means nothing on Marin, right? So my mods on her are garbage for speed. And I've gone just potency and tenacity and health. Make her a little thicker and a little more potent and a little more resistant to not get stunned or any of the stupid negative status effects that could ruin her day. So... I do not have the Zeta on Vengeful Bond, which is, right, when you have zero turn meter, dispel the debuffs and get 25% TM, right? And then the per relic amplifier level, inflict plague, right? I don't have that one. I do have this. So the first time a Night Sister Alex defeated, which is not going to apply here, but just so you know, right, she gains 100% TM, right? And then revives them after she uses this Shadow Stride loveliness. Um, yeah, immune to terminator, right? Her speed is set to zero. She's immune to terminator manipulation, right? Her whole kit is based off of effects happening, right? And yeah, I'm not, I'm gonna not gonna break down Marin's kit for y'all, but she's relic three because I use her with night sisters. Let's go ahead and jump in. And again, no leader. So, that's fun. Hello, Marin. This should be fun. 
it would be an ironic twist if you had to fight your own um, <laughs> relic level of Marin. Uh, let's see here. Reactive force pushed. Can't be defeated or damaged. Immune to buffs or debuffs whenever an enemy targets and flick them with stagger. That's fascinating. Okay. So I pissed her off. That's cool. Probably shouldn't have done that. That's probably the wrong opening move. Uh, note to self. Don't open with that. Now, we're going to heal ourselves to get that plague off. Okay. That's annoying. Alright. Let's just... This is going to be obnoxious. Alright. And I could hit auto, but that's not how we roll. That sucks. Okay, full health brought. We're just gonna kinda play this one cautiously. Um And so because she's not at 0% TM, she's not getting turn meter right now unless I'm inflicting debuffs, which is what you'll see her turn meter go up with. Right, so now she's gonna take a turn here in a second. Nope, never mind. Now she will. Alright, and she revives someone, which sucks, but instant the immunity means nothing because I don't insta-kill. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal myself, get this plague off. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, Baron, come on. Yeah, you're gonna be annoying, I know. Um. Yep. We'll just keep working on it. Boom. So, speed down again means nothing. Yeah, don't. Don't use this AoE ever. It's just gonna give her turn meter. Don't do it. Okay, good dodge. Bam. Mm hmm. Let me just see about this, huh? You just. Yeah, alright, so she's done. That's cool. It's a nice little Oh, Terran! Okay, my guy. Remind me of your kit here. Yeah, I know that. Do you do anything? 50% counter chance. Whenever he's inflicted with days to spot. All right, let's go ahead and do that first. Aha. Um, Stagger. Let's do that. Go ahead and tag me. I'm slow and you're fast, but that stagger pulls back your turn meter. Ah, uh, okay. I think I understand what I'm gonna need to do, but this is gonna suck. <laughs> let's just keep keeping me healthy. Yep. All right, let's go hit him. He's gonna go do that. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna do this. And he's gonna do it. And he's gonna take another turn because he's really fast. And that, oh, that's crappy turn meter removal, but that's all right. And you're dead. Never mind. Wow. That. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Again? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I was like one whole damage point off of killing him. That's really boring. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Let's do that. Let's do that. He's got plague. He's got stagger. Yeah, I get wrecked. He's got more plague. Let's go ahead and just hit you in the face. <clears throat> oh, you can target Marin? That's weird. All right. Uh, let's just do that. Make it look cool. Ta-da. Sorry, Terran. Bye, buddy. All those sound effects were a solid one out of ten. <laughs> uh, but it was good. Okay, so yeah, definitely with the the tri tricky quote unquote part was definitely Marin. Uh, don't use your AOE debuff to so speed down and tenacity down. Just just keep whacking them, whack them all. It's not hard. You're not gonna die. Nobody was really doing a lot of damage. If you, I suppose, if you let Terran get out of control in that second tier or in that third tier and you don't control his turn meter and how many counter attacks he's having on you different story so i try to still off the heel use the speed down right don't don't let him counter attack into you and get those stacks of edge of madness just keep using the uh the ability to let you stagger him when he attacks you that makes you immune to damage and 
another fight. Yeah, the one that I kept doing. Do that. All right, and then last but not least, this should be fairly straightforward. We finally have a leader. We have Seer, and she is Relic 5. And I have both the Zetas on her because I use her, and I have the Ohm on her, and I was not active for the event. But this is what I'm rocking mod-wise. She's just thick. Right, I just want health on her. I don't really care about her speed. It doesn't matter. Seer June, this team is not about speed. Um, and I've got the Zeta on the lead. I think it's the Ohm on the lead. Holy. Yeah, and Grand Arena Ohm. And then I've got the Unique here, right? Protection, max protection and defense is good. So, we'll go ahead and dive in here. Uh, tier 5, nothing changed on mods. And as we go in, hopefully I get to use the... Oh, never mind. I don't have a leader available. I was hoping Seer would be the leader. That would be smart. No. All right. No leader. <laughs> That's boring. Okay. Does this still do what I want it to do? Yep. The weakest gains damage made. Okay, so I'm not going to use that yet because that's not needed. Let's just go ahead and work on the Purge Troopers. Oh, and we've got all the abilities. So let's just get that popping. Okay, I feel like all y'all going for Seer is mad unnecessary. But that's cool. Uh, Do that. Ah, y'all are boring. Boring. All right. Choo. Ah, right, you're done. Next. Ah, right, this is this is boring. Go ahead and heal her up because we can. Because <laughs> of lol. Do you die? No, because it's not the lead, and we haven't had time to cook. All right. Counter. Go ahead and pistol whip him. Boom. I'll do it again. Do, do it again. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that's boring. Oh, gosh. Keep targeting Seer. Oh, no. All right. Boop. I'm gonna try to time out that lightsaber throw. See if I can do something cool with it. Ah, right, you're boring. All right, counter me now, please. Counter me? Oh my gosh, she's so slow. <laughs> Take a turn. Oh, all right. There's nothing nominal about that deer. Okay. I'm assuming we're gonna see Darth Vader tier two. That would just kind of make sense. Wow, that just destroyed you. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna hold the punch with the lightsaber for Darth Vader, so we're just gonna be patient. All right, you're boring. Hi, Vader! Yeah! Oh, and side note, spoilers, he kills her. Woohoo! All right, so let's do that. Yeah, I won her. Uh-huh, basically. Yeah, you loser. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um. Hmm. So I have a feeling Darth Vader's invincible. That's just a hunch. Because that did nothing. What? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, he's not. You can't hurt him. All right. I take it back. We just don't do any damage other than her lightsaber throw. That sucks. Alright. Come out. <laughs> oh no. Okay, tenacity's good. Alright. That's good, that's good, that's good. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. Alright, we're gonna do that. Pistol whip. That's boring. Oh hit me! You big baby. Oh, 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 something's happening. I didn't do anything. Okay, just so you know, I think it was just a number of turns that were taken. I, I didn't click a button. That just happens. This is cool, though. All right. Just for everyone, for the record. So everyone sees, I did not click a button to make that cutscene trigger. I just, I think, stayed alive long enough to do it. So my guess is if you have a G12, Cal, or uh, Seer, or both, um, spam Cal's heal just to keep him alive. Because Vader, he goes in a Merciless Massacre quite a bit, uh, and he kept throwing the saber, right? So as long as you keep the debuffs off and you keep that foresight up or you use that counterattack, right, whatever you need to do, I don't think it matters what kind of damage you do to Vader. I'll be honest. Uh, just lift, and it looks like you'll be good. So, there's that. Now, 
Let's go through his journey and let's go to him. Come here, cow. Oh, shut up. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, no way I can't get to him. All right. So let's go ahead and activate this guy and gear him up. And as I said, we are going to go straight to R8. I may need to buy blue mats for relics. Hey there, buddy. Oh, he looks good. And I love BD. Do you do, you do anything with BD? I'm clicking and it's not doing anything. Maybe he will do something. All right. Let's level him up. Okay. Um, let's do gear first, and then we'll do abilities, and we'll do mods. And I cannot stress enough how many Carbontes and how many stun cups this guy needs. So, I, I will ignore this tier because it's nothing important. Okay. We're going to count, okay? We have <laughs> 1,150, okay? And 1,126, all right? And 1,260, all right? So we have, I mean, you can see, we've got three of these already asked for in the first tier. And two, two, two of those. So I'm just going to hit upgrade, okay? We're going to go. Now, he needs, if I'm not mistaken, we'll look when we get to relics, but I think it's 200 of these and 300 of these, which is why I have these set amounts here. He's expensive, so I'm just gonna go buy it. I'm not gonna click into every single one, but you can see three, three more stun cups. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Yep. So we'll just go look at this for giggles now. We're at 800 <laughs> and 800. So we went down 250 or 300, and we're about to go down more with that. So hooray. And there's that. So yep, that's 400 of that. Well, it's 150 of that, 150 of that. 200 of this once we do this 200 of that when we do it and i think his relic is the lovely prod and it is okay so spot on cool so just so you know too this guy's oh gosh this guy's relics are as follows you need two of these right one and two and then you need one health pack which is great because health is excellent on him and then you're gonna need a computer a uh, furnace, and then you're gonna need the furnace again to do his finisher, not a biggie. Let's go ahead and take him to Relic. Boom. All right, so we're gonna go straight up to eight here, then we're gonna take a look at what happens to his stats after we go and hit uh, Relic 8 and put on mobs. And I'm very excited. We're doing a, a spoilers. We're gonna do an offense and a health set for him. So this will be fun. But I have been saving up for this guy for a long time. I could be nearly done with Leia at this point if I hadn't just kind of held off. But I, I really, really wanted Cal done because it's a limited time event still, right? It's only here for the next seven days. So we get this done first and then we'll worry about uh, Leia after. Okay, so we at Relic 5. So let's stop for a second. I'm going to go back in. Don't worry. This was not a tease. At Relic 5, 50k health. Sorry, 57k health, 57k prod. Not super fast. All good. We're going. This was no joke. I'm going all the way. And just look at that juicy health stack climb. And his offense is going to rocket up there too, which I love. All right, and then last but not least, good. We had enough blue. Let's go. I didn't have to do anything. And look at these these relic masks, man. I have so many that I've saved. I'm so happy. Boom. Relic 8. Now, why are we doing this, you may ask, right? Why why on earth? No, I could go Relic 9. I'm not going to. I don't want to. But I feel like that's excessive. Uh we're gonna we're gonna just not. I do relic nines for pilots and Rex for events, and that's it. But why are we doing relic eight, you may ask? Well, that's gonna come in when it comes to this lead right here. Where in territory battles, at the start of the battle, right, all allies, right, any ally, dark side, light side, does not matter, get 100% max health and max protection, and 300% of his defense, okay? Relic 8 has put his defense, where is it? Am I blind? I might be blind. I don't even know where his defense is. I'm talking all this smack and I don't even know where it is. Uh, armor, I, well, you know, ignore me. All I'm going to say is this. <laughs> the higher the relic for Cal, the better it's going to be in TV. I look like a fool now. All right. And I don't 
don't think the basic has a Zeta. Yeah, it does it good. Right, which is, if you don't do this Omicron, this Omicron, this Omega on the basic, I might hit you in the head. If you're going to do no Zetas on him and you're just going to do the Omegas and you don't, you're even Omega poor, do the Omega because ignoring taunt on a basic is ridiculously broken. And there's a buff to spell on the basic. Now, we are not doing this. Okay, this is a territory battle on as well, right? So next time he uses that, the windmill defense, he gains 50% health and prot, right? Okay. That's great. The stun is awesome. The advantage is awesome. The armor shred is great. I don't care. His lead is way more important. Because he takes nothing and makes just incredible teams. It's amazing. Okay. It's not a configuration duel, right? That's great. And again, I'm, I'm careful with my clicks here. Okay, this is a Zeta. Perfect. So if we did not have dual wield, right? Target other Jedi ally gains a bonus turn. We want this. Because when you're using the windmill, right, it's essentially, it's not a turn meter swap, but it kind of feels like uh, Commander Sokotano's TM swap, right? All this is is just granting a bonus turn. So you're going to want to target people unintuitively here, right, bonus turn. You want somebody who has very low turn meter or someone you want to just get going fast. So obviously, we're going to do that Zeta. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna be careful with our clicks here. Okay. Zeta, and then I think this one, yeah, has a territory battle. We're going to ignore that. The instant defeat, if you are doing Zetas, which I strongly recommend you do, this is the no-brainer. You need the instant kill. This is my now new counter to Malgus, period. And I am so excited to use this to just beat Malgus and stop having to worry about gas and all that stupidity. Boom. So 30% defense, right? 30% offense. It's awesome. So, boom. Okay. One territory battles excellent 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 so we're doing it i'm committing i am so excited to use him in territory battles i cannot even express it and this is crazy okay so right immune to ability block fear and stun is awesome but okay and we're gonna ignore right when people attack out of turn too that's cool right when i gain i recover 10 percent health doesn't matter that's the counter chance which is awesome it just keeps him alive in territory battles immune to cooldown manipulation from enemies so fear if you get fear, can't be manipulated. Uh, you can't have your cooldowns increased by abilities, right? Damage immunity and 60% turn meter. Ridiculous. It's so good. Do all of it. And do this Zeta, okay? When he gains configuration, he gains five stacks of Impetuous. I'm going to say this. If you're looking to get that insta-kill, you need this Zeta. Do that. <laughs> you need to be able to get stacks of configuration to be able to get to Impetuous Assault at 30 stacks and insta-kill. All right, ta-da. So what are we looking at now? 65K, 57K, 149, awesome. So base stats are looking excellent. Base damage look good. Now, we're gonna ignore all suggestions this thing might have because I have mods ready for him. We're gonna, gonna go ignore everyone and we're gonna slice because slicing is always fun. Now, I have the decision to be made here between this mod and this mod. And I think the defense and the offense and the prot is the better way. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. The defense, the offense, and the prot. Let's do that. Okay, and then we have this lovely mod here. I think that's the mod. I may switch to this one depending on how this one slices. We're going to see. Um, but I came ready just in case. And I want to go off of health more than anything because he recovers health, right, when there's an attack at a turn. Having him thicker health-wise is the right way to go. Okay, we got the offense, which is excellent. And then we've got offense on this right here. I put that down. And then where is that right there? Boom, defense, health, prot, prot, right? We're just trying to make him thick, okay? So almost 80K health right now, and we've not sliced anything. So let's get to slicing. And we're going to do the most unentertaining one first. Boom. Now we have plus two speed. All right. Okay. So let's see if we can get to at least four here. Boom. All right. I will come back to that one. We're not done. We're not necessarily done. Okay. Give me some more offense. Okay. Let's see if we can hit five. All right. Not mad about health at all. Okay. Ignore. No. Boom. Let's go speed. Speed. Ah. Uh, all right. We're going to push it one more on this one. Boo. All right. We'll, we'll, 
we calibrate. No worries. We have some, some mass to be able to calibrate. Okay. Let's see if we can hit five here. Oh, that would be sweet. Not mad about health. I'll push it one more time. All right. Health again. We're going to see if we can roll one of these healths into a speed. If not, I am not mad. That's a fine mod. This is one I definitely want to roll into four if we can. All right. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, be nice to me. Boo. All right. So we're going to roll. I think we're going to roll away the prod. So let's come over here. Let's go one more for the blue. Perfect. <laughs> Love that five. All right. We're going to slice you one more time, too. All right. So we're going to calibrate that potency away because no one cares. And I think I'm going to calibrate each twice just to see. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep that over. Uh... No. Try again. Oh. And this is one of those rolls that are just awful. Sure. Yeah, we want more potency. You got it. That's that's what I'm looking for right there. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's what I want. All right, let's... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to roll protection away. I want to keep that defense because of the defense in... Uh, yeah, that's perfect. In uh, territory battles. We get, oh my gosh, that's horrible. What in the hell? Okay, just sure. Get rid of this again. Hey, hey, there we go. Now we've got a four speed and we got rid of the, oh, that's great. And we got rid of the garbage prod. So that's perfect. A little faster now, go away. Um, I think we might just calibrate this one once, I'll be honest. I'm gonna try to roll health once to see if I can get speed. And I want it to roll one of the garbage ones. Okay, just be better. Just be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done. We're not going to play with it at all anymore. This is fine. Love the health. All right, last but not least, let's see if we can get a four roll on the speed. Uh, give me the prop. Let's get rid of that. Mm, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. See, and why would I? Why would I go worse? That doesn't even make sense. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just give me a good speed. That's acceptable. We'll take it. So I think we have a four, at least, on all the speeds. And so let's see, does that put me over 300? 289, okay? That's beautiful. Looking good at 90k health, right? 67k prot. We focus the health instead of the prot. That's why we did the health set. I am pleased, right? And he looks great. So, unfortunately, we don't have a territory battle live right now. But we do have the ability just to see him in action briefly. And what we're going to do is we're going to use him, I think, with Jedi Master Luke, especially when it comes to, uh, what's the word here? Things that are not territory battles. His lead is not going to be the way to go. Why am I doing it? His lead's not going to be the way to go. You're going to want to go a Jedi lead. So Jedi Knight Luke lead, great. Bastard Sean lead against Malgus, right, with Hoda. Great. I uh, crank my Hoda speeds up to be able to get him moving fast. All right, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, and... How high up on the list are you? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> he's right next to gas. Makes me so happy. All right. Now, this might be a terrible showcase for him. But we're going to bring in all the big Jedi, right? This is now the showcase of the Force of the Jedi in this game. And they are... They're, they're incredible. All five of these Jedi are awesome. So I'm really looking forward to just having him in my own hands and being able to... Watch that buff to spell work magic. Okay. So let's do that first. Okay. It's fine. There's a lot of effects going on on this battle. Which is why it's going to be live. There are so many effects. Okay. Now, on defense, Cal plays really stupid, just so everyone knows. Like, really, really, really stupid. And he will use this instead of his basic. So you're going to want to do this. And you're going to want to... Okay, this is the armor shred, I believe. Yep, do physical damage, inflict speed down. Yeah, inflict... If I didn't have this configuration at the start of my turn, which I don't. Advantage, stun them, and inflict them with armor shred. That's interesting. No stun, but that's alright. Armor shred's good. They're getting hurt. Alright, let's slow everyone down. Let's go ahead and get you going. Okay, and we're just gonna... More armor shred. And the buff to spell on this basic, again, is... Ow! 
incredible. Nope, nope, stop, stop. Stop the spell. That's fine. Okay. This is a bonus turn, I believe, right? To spell all debuffs and call them to assist. They gain Fraught up. He, ga he gains Fraught up, and that's it. Jedi allies gain Fraught up. Jedi gets a bonus turn. So we want to get JML going here. Boom. Okay. That's perfect. I'm going to call you to assist, Cal. Boom. Call you to assist. Boom. Ow. Perfect. Let's go ahead and mark him down. And I'm doing this intentionally. I don't want to trigger the sacrifice, but I also want to take my time so we can get to the insta-kill. I really need Revan to get in here and heal this boy. Boom. Okay. That's nice. Ow. Okay. Good. A little buff to spell there. Uh, now, this right right now, this is where it's going to be weird. How do I, how can I tell myself what I have? Um, so I'm, let's see, does this tell me the icon? It doesn't. I know I just used this one, so I know I need to go armor shred, so I'm going to do it. Yeah, now I've got 30. The icons are interesting. That's something we're going to have to learn. And we did get the stun, which is sick. I love that. All right, just call him. Cool. Ah, there we go. I know I've got the heal rolling. That's fine. Just hit Rex. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Because now... Whoop. Take it slow. Bap! <laughs> Bap! She gone! There you go. Alright. So, I love that. And I think... I think... I crazy hold on i might be oh i'm really slow too. sorry about that so if i do this right remind me i'm not gonna do this now days the enemies that's right too the days i totally forget this guy he i <laughs> he's so strong it's crazy gosh so like if you wanted to you could have called gas or something like that to uh to come in for the assist but boom there you go all done so there's cal in action now I am looking forward to making some territory battle videos, especially once I get Leia too, because then we're going to have a really good look at uh, just doing TB as a normal, I'm going to say player in a normal guild, but it's not a crazy whale guild, but also is, is high enough to be doing Return of the Empire, or sorry, Rise of the Empire. So there's that. I'm going to shut up now. That was just mm, fun from top to bottom. And Cal is by far... <laughs> one of the best journey guide characters that exists if not the best i think there's arguments for a couple different ways uh but yeah this guy's just excellent so thank you for watching i hope this was helpful uh, seeing a little bit of the mix of the g12 with the relic characters seeing the event walk through and uh just kind of understanding the potential this guy has for your roster so go unlock him push hard if you can get him in this time period my guess is we'll probably see him again in another two to four months uh, he may become oh, uh, their pattern is generally perma unlock after a year so he'll become available in june of next year fingers crossed i right? can't promise right but fingers crossed june of next year my guess is they probably bring him back again in march or february of next year and they may do a christmas gift to us too if you don't get him now but if you can push for him he is mm, excellent all right and without further ado we'll catch you guys in the next video thanks